Hello everybody, my name is Air Dew and holy shit, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all the reviews for Bless Online. Well, I'm not going to be reading them, but I'm going to be showing you what the hell has happened in the past two days. So, if you didn't check my other video, go check it out. I talked about Bless Online coming to everywhere or why May 30th. It was early access on the 28th. And I didn't get it because I wanted to see the reviews. And holy shit, look at all these dislikes. I, man, oh my holy f I I Okay, let me give you let me give you some clarity. Take the game PUBG, right? PUBG has mixed reviews, right? It's the best selling PC game of all time. Uh, it has some negative reviews, right? But there are a lot more positive than negatives. You know, it's about like 60% positive, 40% negative. That's suspected. I have not seen literally one like on this review at all. I've been scrolling, I've been scrolling down for holy shit, man. Uh, okay, let's let, okay, I see one like. All right, so let's go to the beginning. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little bit sh like bamboozle. I don't even know. I, bamboozle, I don't even know. Okay, so let's start with this one. 19 hours, he says, let me preface this with a good part of bless. It's fun, I generally, genuinely, excuse me, have a good enough time playing it that if the developers actually treat their players like customers, I could recommend it all right to bat. However, that simply isn't the case at all. Let's get more into detail what he has to say. To begin with, the game is running on a DX9. If you don't know what that is, that is a driver. Usually games run on DX11 or mostly 12. Usually the minimum is like, it's DX9 is usually, that's a really old driver by the way, which is completely terrible. Um, this, ma this makes zero sense when the developers have claimed they're going to optimize the game and bring it to the west and yet haven't optimized really anything at all and this is more apparent with the fact that the game has now has no hardware detection built into it you have to go into the, the files to edit things to your cpu to do simple things uncap the fps just to get things to stay acceptable for most people wow that okay let's go to another one let's see this one let's see this one i want to preface this review with the acknowledgement that i understand this is an early access title i find i fully understand that what this means however bless online was previously released in korea japan and russia more than a year ago yes it was called bless uh so while this is technically an early access game it has already have an established timeline and launched in other regions which should be accounted for when reviewing in a U, uh, eu iteration of the game in these regions the game was not well received uh, and fail being left with very small population very shut down. I will not be addressing the launch day issues. First and foremost, I have to say the cash shop is much better than the previous version. Okay, that's cool. While I do not fully understand the attempt behind the durability repair items, that's one thing about Bless Online is that your weapons do have durability and they can break and you have to repair them, which is a that takes a shitload of in game currency to. Uh, to fix but they do have uh store items to help you fix the durability which is a kind of like a not pay to win system but it's it's a pay to play system uh, let's look at a few more like i i was completely in shock guys okay here we go this one is about uh he's wanting to refund the game it says false advertisement right here about action targeting it was removed from the game before early access start when it was clearly working and visible earlier in May during the press conference. Number two, bad, bad, bad translation. This is one thing I've been hearing a lot is that the translation from the Korean version to the worldwide version is super jacked. It doesn't make completely any sense. Like some sentences doesn't even make any sense when you're talking to dialogue with the, uh, with the NPC for a quest. Number three, he said I should need to change the resolution of the game manually in the game files. That's a lot of recurring things that you have to go into the game file, which is dot in. I and I. You have to uncap the FPS. You have to. Uh, this guy had to. What do you have to do? Mainly change the resolution because you can't do it in game. Number four, the sensory of the game. Yeah, that's one thing too that is a lot of censorship in the worldwide edition compared to the Korean edition. If you don't know, uh, most Korean games are not uncensored and they have to censor it for the rest of the world because you know, you know, culture and stuff. 
it, based on the country, it, it depends how much censoring they do. The way the game is running is abysmal, he said, is people are finding fixes to, uh, for it manually, but do that rarely. This game is now in the 4th, area, early stayed in Korea, Russia, and Japan. It was on for years. It was called Bless back in the day. He wants a refund because he said it's false ad advertisement for action targeting, which is something similar to the terror system where you can lock on to a character and keep on that lock on. It's pretty good when you're uh, when like you're a tank or something, and you're trying to hold aggro, or you're a DPS and you're trying to hold on to the boss, stuff like that. Uh, let's look at whatever. He was a this one. This guy was a founder supporter, and now he wants a request. So this is why he. This is an actual guy who paid for the like the the super expensive founder edition okay so let's see what he say i was a founder supporter now request a refund and it's possible he played the jp in korean reversion the translation is an issue right here tutorial quest 1 in 10 in fact is horrible he said npc equipment has no sort of class gear skill description is still vague and many other issues everything just seems like a prototype since how long seven years of development since i hope the steam version will be much the same blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, character, he said, promise uh, one mega server. Lastly, they f they messed up with communities. No preload order. Promise mega server. Uh, character bound cash shop currency, which is really weird. I did not know that. I had to do a little bit more research after reading a couple of these reviews. Um, a lot of characters are actually bound to a cash shop, um, which is weird. Like you know, you get your starter characters, and then there's additional characters behind a paywall, which is completely pay to win. Um, I did not know this recently when I made that video a couple days ago, but that is completely pay to win. That's pay to win in in this in this in the slightest chance. Like like that's the definition of pay to win. These characters have an advantage. You, you can't even get it for in your in game currency. You have to buy actual money. I mean that didn't make any sense. What I just said. You have to use actual money. You don't buy money um, to get these characters, which is pay to win. You can't experience an MMORPG within two hours of the limit. Four hours of gameplay was queue. And I was just one character creation disconnect and the creation reset game play. The part which killed my experience was a quest bug. I couldn't pr progress further. No quest after that before I finished the quest. I already have. Cancel, redo it. He had to keep making characters over and over again because it was a quest bug, which is com that sounds game breaking almost to be honest. Uh, let's get a few more reviews to see. He had 1.3 hours, uh, three hours of record. He's saying it's buggy. The game decides when it allows you to the character selection screen. Okay. Um, I mean, this is an MMO, so I wasn't expecting you at launch. No MMO was really good at launch. You know what's funny? The only MMO I really think that was good at launch was EverQuest. And maybe... No, World of Warcraft launch wasn't... It was pretty laggy. I think RuneScape launch was pretty good, too. The original one, yeah. So, most MMO... Terra's launch was horrible, on, on a console especially. You know, everybody knows that issue. Okay, let's look at this guy right here. He says, action targeting removed from most of the classes, poor optimization, can't get stuck on loading screen for hours, have to relaunch several times, translation partly done, and quality is worse than the machine translated patch. There's a lot of, as you see from these reviews, is translation errors, there's a quest bug, uh, it's poor optimization, there's no action targeting, the game is censored, it's bugs on several quests. It's, these, this is not just one person saying this, this is multiple people saying this. And I, you can, I can go through all these reviews, and these people are legit because they review so many products or accounts. And I trust the word because you know they have multiple hours into it. Let's look at this guy. Let's look at a few more reviews, and then I'll give you my final conclusion. Um, let's see. He, he spent 150. Was that euros? Yeah, I believe that's euros. Or that's no, no. Excuse me. That's 150. It, that's either pounds or euros. I'm not too too good on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he spent the collector edition. He asked the man to get a level 30 without a problem. Server lag, crashes, multiple maintenance was poorly decision with Neowiz. The experience has been terrible. Neowiz has been failing their games in two other regions. Uh, obviously, to pay the streamer Stroud. Oh, yeah. If you guys didn't know, Stroud is a... Um, he was a CSGO uh, professional. And now he does a lot of PUBG on um, on Steam. Not Steam. Uh, on Twitch. And he streams it. Uh, him, Soda Poppin, and a lot of other streamers were streaming this game. I don't think he was paid to advertise this game, but it was a little strange that he was he was playing like a, a MMO because you know Stroud usually is into the FPS. But I mean, I see he occasionally plays WoW, so I, I don't think that's technically out of his character to, to not to play Bless. I mean, he plays he played a lot of WoW, so I mean, I don't think he he was he was paid. I don't know the situation though that he could be. I don't know. I'm just gonna skip that.
horrible customer service don't reply making sad decisions when it comes to maintenance last and least i want to say to you guys is that i actually stole you guys actually stole the 150 from me this game should have never been allowed to be sold that one thing about this though 150 is a lot for a game period world of warcraft um it's not really even that expensive it's maybe about a hundred dollars but you're getting a whole world you're getting expansions you're getting characters you're getting a lot of sh you get a lot of stuff for it for this you're getting a lot of uh um, you get a 30-day uh vip in the it's like neverwinter kind of but neverwinter is way cheaper than bless online you can pay like uh what is it i believe it's six no it's fifty dollars for six months that's really good Re yet this is 150 for like a month which is and just the game it's weird um he said you guys actually tried to tell us to start another lie uh if you have a game above it i can't code for you know he's just he's just saying he's not returning the he's not recommending this game to anyone due to the price the price is really a start let's i'll show you guys the price real quick um well let's turn that down i want i don't don't want copyright right here 150 usd dollars and you see both right here this product is not eligible for a refund. Both of these are not eligible at all. The only one that's eligible is the standard edition. So if you spent $150 or you spent the $70 for the deluxe, you are out of luck unless there is so many complaints that the same situation with No Man's Sky that Steam will have to refund almost anyone that requested a refund because of the reviews this is completely a disaster what i said in my previous video is that this is a game changing and bless online is game changing but the execution was horrible okay the idea of bless online you know you have a faction you have 50 versus 50 uh you have these huge guilds the idea of bless online is a beautiful idea but the execution is horrible. Let's look at some of these items in game. Something is $200. I think this is the currency right here. Yes, this is the currency. So, see, holy crap, dude. So, if you want a premium membership, it's 30 days, $15, the same as Terra. What makes this different from Terra is that you, $70 for 180 days was completely absurd. $70 for 180 days which is i believe okay so 30 60 90 120 150 so uh, so six so what six months for 70 dollars that is completely absurd i, I mean 50 dollars for six months you know that's pretty normal for stuff like that but that's a little overpriced right there here's the currency right here 200 dollars for 24,000 lumenia plus uh 4.8 k which is that that just rounds it up to 28.8 for two hundred dollars that's completely insane so if you spent this and you spent the collector's edition that's three hundred and fifty dollars that is so expensive for a, a a game period the only time you should be spending this amount of money if it's a super rare item for example csgo you know you have the uh, the dragon lore skin it's going for like uh 1.3k but it's a very expensive skin i'm not saying it's reasonable but i understand the justification of why it's so expensive <sighs> bless online execution was horrible please stop i don't want copyright from you guys at all so guys uh i'm still gonna try and stream this maybe but i have to let you guys know the truth and i do not see this i don't know why it was a rumor that this was coming to console in the first place they need to fix the pc first before they do anything to console that's it for me guys hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe tell me if you play bless online played the early access what are your thoughts because holy shit this shit hit the fan, right? The things hit the fan hard for Neo Wiz Bless Studio. Man, that, that this is crazy.